Hello everyone. Before diving into today's topic, we want to take a moment to thank you for your support. Every like, comment, and subscription truly makes a difference and helps this channel grow. If you enjoy our content and don't want to miss our upcoming videos, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all notifications. Have you ever stopped to reflect, perhaps while gazing at the starry sky on a clear night, on how little we truly know about the universe around us? We live in an era where space exploration has reached achievements that were unimaginable just a century ago. Our probes travel beyond the boundaries of the solar system, orbiting telescopes allow us to peer into galaxies billions of light years away, and every day we discover new exoplanets, cosmic oddities, and mysterious forces shaping the cosmos. And yet, despite all of this, we remain incredibly ignorant about how the world we live in truly works at a deep level. There is a fascinating and unsettling paradox at the heart of modern physics. A riddle that stubbornly resists, like a locked door for which we cannot find the key. After more than a century of extraordinary scientific successes, we have still not managed to unify the two theories that, more than any others, have revolutionized our understanding of reality, general relativity and quantum mechanics. On one side, we have general relativity, Albert Einstein's majestic theoretical construction. It is an elegant, geometric theory that shows us the universe as a vast elastic fabric, space-time, deformed by mass and energy. Thanks to it, we can explain the orbit of planets, the precession of Mercury's perihelion, the formation and structure of black holes, gravitational lensing, and even the dynamics of cosmic expansion. It is the theory that has transformed our way of seeing time and space, revealing them as a single fluid entity in constant change. On the other side is quantum mechanics, the realm of the infinitely small. Here, classical laws give way to indeterminacy. Subatomic particles do not follow predictable trajectories, but behave probabilistically. They can exist in multiple states simultaneously, pass through barriers like ghosts, and influence each other across cosmic distances through that mysterious connection called quantum entanglement. It is a world of waves collapsing into particles, of vacuums boiling with energy fluctuations, of events that make no sense until they are observed. Both theories have been verified with extraordinary precision. Relativity guides us in the realm of the very large, galaxies, black holes, gravitational waves. Quantum mechanics, on the other hand, is the language of the microscopic scale, of atoms and light quanta. But as accurate as they are within their own domains, when we try to combine them to describe extreme phenomena, like what happens at the heart of a black hole, or in the first moments of the universe during the Big Bang, the calculations fall apart. The equations generate paradoxes, infinite results, logical contradictions. It's like trying to merge two incompatible alphabets, or mixing oil and water. No matter how much you stir, the two elements never blend. Yet the dream of unification continues to inspire physicists and philosophers. A new generation of theoretical scientists works tirelessly to find what has been called the theory of everything, a single mathematical structure capable of explaining how the universe works at every scale. Some hypotheses are already famous, like string theory or loop quantum gravity. Others are even more speculative, bold, even heretical. But they all seek the same thing, a deep truth, a unified vision of reality. To truly understand the problem, we need to examine the intrinsic nature of these two theories. Filled circle general relativity is a geometric theory. It describes gravity not as a force but as the curvature of space-time caused by the presence of mass and energy. Here, time is not absolute, but relative. It slows near a massive object, dilates as a function of speed. The cosmos is a kind of three-dimensional elastic carpet, whose destiny is written in the geometries that compose it. Filled circle quantum mechanics, on the other hand, is based on probability. In this world, space and time are rigid backgrounds in which particles exist as wave functions, collapsing into definite positions only when measured. Here, the uncertainty principle reigns, and the vacuum itself is a turbulent sea, teeming with virtual particles. How do these two vastly different universes come together? The answer is not simple. It's like trying to fit together puzzle pieces from two different games, with incompatible logics and rules. 
Among the most promising theories is loop quantum gravity, born in the 1980s. This revolutionary vision proposes that space-time is not continuous, but discrete, made up of tiny units of volume, quanta of space. Like the pixels of a digital image, these elements form an intricate network of loops that define the fundamental structure of the universe. Time, in this model, does not flow uniformly, but emerges as a collective effect of the evolution of these microscopic structures. A fascinating idea that could rewrite our conception of the cosmos's origin. The Big Bang, instead of a point of infinite density, would be a quantum bounce, a moment of transition from a phase of contraction to a new expansion. A cyclic, perhaps eternal universe. The other major candidate is string theory, which has its roots in the 1970s. According to this theory, fundamental particles are not point-like entities but tiny vibrating strings. Each type of particle corresponds to a different mode of vibration. Gravity itself, in the hypothetical form of the graviton, would be a specific vibration of these strains. But this theory comes at a high cost. The introduction of additional spatial dimensions, up to 10 or 11, curled up in incredibly complex structures, the so-called calibi yau manifolds. Our visible universe would be a brin, a membrane, immersed in a multidimensional cosmos, perhaps populated by other universes, each with different physical laws. In these folds may lie the answers to mysteries such as dark matter or dark energy. But the proposals don't stop there. Other speculative models are gaining ground. Filled circle causal set theory, which sees space-time not as a continuum, but as a discrete network of elementary events linked by causal relations. Filled circle emergent gravity, according to which gravity is not a fundamental force, but an emergent phenomenon like temperature arising from the collective motion of molecules. Filled circle the simulated universe, a provocative idea. Perhaps reality is a computational process, a simulation generated by an unknown algorithm. In this case, physics would be our source code, and understanding the cosmos would mean hacking the very foundations of existence. All these theories, despite their differences, question a key point. Our idea of reality is something solid, objective, and defined. Perhaps space and time are not fundamental, but emergent. Perhaps particles do not exist as autonomous entities, but only as temporary manifestations of deeper relationships. Perhaps our universe is a projection, a shadow, of something much greater. This is not just a scientific challenge. It is also a philosophical, even existential one. Truly understanding how to unify relativity and quantum mechanics means understanding what reality is, what time and space are, and even what we are. It means answering, or at least trying to answer, humanity's oldest and deepest questions. Who are we? Where do we come from? Why do we exist? Perhaps the day we have a theory of everything is still far away. Perhaps it will never come. But the journey to search for it is, in itself, one of the noblest and most fascinating endeavors of the human intellect. And who knows, maybe the answer will come in the form of an echo in the cosmic microwave background, or an anomaly detected by a next-generation particle accelerator. Maybe it will be hidden in an elegant mathematical formula, or in a radical idea yet to be conceived. For now, we can only keep asking the question. What is reality, really? And will we ever be able to fully know it?